for a South African man yeah. who was raised on the Isle of Man and now yeah. resides in the UK. Yeah. Sound very French. Yeah. Novelli's Italian, so there's even more happening that's what's, not relevant. What's Guillaume? That's French as well. Pierre talking, Guillaume Sounds Novelli. like someone just yawned when they were naming you. Guillaume. <laughs> Sound yeah. like you're in the Arsenal youth setup. <laughs> yeah. He never got a first team game. <laughs> Sold him back to Bordeaux. <laughs> good player now though. I tried I tried to do a bit once about how because I'm I'm not a good sports guy. I've got fragments of sports knowledge here and there. But every time I see a name trending on Twitter that I don't recognize of any kind, yeah. it's either um football news, uh -huh. terror attack. <laughs> Like either like a guy in Norway has gone on a rampage or something's <laughs> happened in a like either it's like a horrifying news story or like an American shooting where it's they're using the shooter's full name. If yeah. I see a full name trending, I go, football or a, a yeah. Yeah. let's hope let's hope football. It's a contract like you, dispute. Yeah. When a celebrity starts trending and you play dead or nonce. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a good game yeah. as well. Oh. When you see David Attenborough, you don't want it to be either. No. What would you rather? Dead. <laughs> I don't want the grandfather of animals. Yep. Everyone's but no, uncle he's an animal David. Nonce, though. He's on a pair of animals. You know, like he shags some giraffes in his time. Yeah, I'll smoke without Where? fire. An animal nonce, as in he shags kid. If it animals. turns out that David Attenborough has stuck a finger in a fucking giraffe, everyone be like, yeah, of course. As long as he was narrating while he did it, and the giraffe would be like, "Go on, Dave. <laughs> Here is the giraffe's ass. <laughs> a reach. Yeah." I mean, you think that you, everyone you're, you're knew where this me. was going when <laughs> I got a step ladder? Doing it with a GoPro. <laughs> you're telling me. <laughs> if it, <laughs> the giraffe! <laughs> <laughs> the Francis Bourgeois of giraffe fingering. Beast oh, give us a horn! Are you, are you suggesting a bestiality version of Francis Bourgeois? It's just delighted at all these different animals. <laughs> I'm saying, fucking... if, if, if a lot of people did it, it's bestiality. But it, I think if Uncle Bridget. David did it, it's payback. No, hey, okay. What have the animals what, done? They've he he given them his career. Done, so he's done so much yep. to help share the content of animals. He's brought, you know, mm -hmm. most of it's CGI. You know, he didn't even fucking go down there with a camera. <laughs> no, it is Blue Planet. <laughs> most of it is CGI. No, no, no what? Not Blue Planet. What? To, where was David Attenborough in Blue Planet? He wasn't Panda? Blue Panda. Ah. Blue Panda. <laughs> Blue Panda. <laughs> Are you seeing Blue Panda? CGI, bro. It's Blue Panda CGI, says who? He's just making it up. I'm not making it up. There was a big controversy about it. It took like fucking 25 years to make. And most of it was editing because they were fucking drawing whales and shit. <laughs> Honestly. 25 years. Uh, <laughs> and if you'd like to know what Adam's referencing, it'll be in the comments. Uh, Adam will comprehensively show all of his bullshit. 25 years drawing. <laughs> Honestly, episode three, <laughs> crayon. That's a fucking penguin. That a, is that a real conspiracy? No, he's made it up. He's gone purple. <laughs> he's fucking gumbo. Sorry, Pierre. I'm sorry you had to see this. This is Patreon it's episode five. Same colour as his He's gone fucking puce. You absolute gumbo puce. <laughs> it's is it, it is it jazzy in here? <laughs> Google Blue Panther. Thanks for bottom coming, the, Pierre. Just game. two seconds. We do need to figure this out. The guy's though. from 19 different places, and we're shouting about drawn penguins. I am interested to find out though. What Uncle if? David, uh, for all the things that he's done and not done, and he can yeah. finger a job, he's never done. They've never this done. This is going to be so satisfying, by the way. This is going to be so satisfying. Awesome defends shots that were filmed in a studio. They were totally so. It wasn't fake. It wasn't CGI though, was it? They've not got Disney Pixar. What? I guarantee you, the next the next one down, it will we'll say that it was CGI. So oh, it was Cats of Wildlife. Oh, Jesus. So it was filmed in a so tank. That's bollocks as well. So he's gone to the fucking, the aquarium at Cheshire Oaks with a couple of cameras <laughs> and, we're, and we're nighting this concert. Here we are in Ellesmere Port. <laughs> Stop fingering things, Dave. <laughs> it is my right. So it, it wasn't CGI. It was ca it was captive. captive. So animals. bollocks. That's worse, if anything. They said, pretend you're hatching and we'll let you go. <laughs> that's what they said to the animals. We'll let you go. Like hostages. You want to see your family again? Behead a puffin. Yeah. Oh, that was rough. Right. I'm, <laughs> I'm interested, Pierre, that you've yeah. got French forenames, an yeah. Italian surname, yeah. South African heritage. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to piece this jigsaw together, but I've yeah. lost the box. South yeah. African heritage. Go on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not for not for the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how far that goes back. Let me suggest late Victorian period. The what is the furthest back one? My grandmother was was Afrikaans, like 
There's yeah. Dutch in there as well. Okay. Uh, that's like 1700s or some okay. Is it? American style oh, stuff. Right, okay. Yeah. But then like my grandparents were from the UK on the other side. Okay. My dad's sides were a lot more South African, Italian, weird European mixture stuff. My mum's half English, half Scottish. Okay. But she's from South Africa as well. Her parents, I mean. And French? So, you know, like, you know, like, uh, the South African sports people, they're always called like Francois Leroux and stuff like that. And you're like, what? <laughs> Is that a real person? Gianni Duplessis. Yeah, they're all real people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the, all the, all the, I mean, yeah, all there's the, loads all the rugby of Johnny the Van der Gas. There's all there's loads of Dutch, and that's back to the it's Dutch well, and English. Like JB De Villiers is very that's a yeah, Dutch. But, well, only but De, South De Villiers, you know. person that I know is Shabala blah 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 blah. Shabalala? Yeah. Shabalala, yeah. The one who scored that goal in the first game of the South African World Cup. What's his name though? Shabalala. No, but what's how did you pronounce it? Shabalala. It's like banana rama. It's 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 Shabalala. Shabalala. That writes itself. Do you remember that bit of commentary though? It's one of the best bits of commentary in like in football A goal for all of Africa. You don't remember it? The first goal, twat bastard in the top corner. Absolute. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thunder come to the strike. He shabalaed it. But like because he's got the best possible name for commentary, as long as you know what it is. Like the the fella goes berserk. He goes Shabalala. <laughs> go for all of Africa! Yeah. Oh, it's fucking quality. unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your heritage. That's my heritage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like De Villiers, it's like De Villiers, you know, so it's French as hell. Because there were a bunch of like French that. Protestants <laughs> who all moved down there and oh, got yeah, absorbed. Yeah, it's French, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But we're well, so used to if you say it like yeah, that, though, isn't it? Villiers. You, could say Adam, Villiers. you could say Adam Rowe. Adam Rowe. Adam Rowe. Adam Rowe. What would you do if it turned out that, like, uh, the most like um, pretentious people in Paris were like, there's like a cell of have a word fans in Paris. <laughs> you go on holiday to Paris and a bunch of guys in Hermes scarves. Oh Mis yeah. Monsieur Rowe. <laughs> Paris oh. Fashion Week. Yeah. Hey, I'm a Patreon. And they push Heidi Klum out of the way. Go be gone. And they're across the street to you. And Rowe bags. <laughs> I fucking love it. Je suis un lid. Yeah, yeah. Nous sommes les bonnes lid. <laughs> There's loads of posh cunts in this country with French names as well. Yeah. Because of the revolution where yeah. they did the right thing, chopped off a load of fucking Tories' heads, <laughs> and all the poshies were like, oh, we need to get the fuck out of Paris. And where did they come? London, to yeah, stay with true. their posh cunt English mates. So we have, if you or if you trace like the, again, is it the name, the history of names? Etymology. Stuff, etymology. Loads yeah. of French sounding names within like, the, look at Francis Bourgeois. They were Huguenots I mean, that as well. is the most French sounding name ever, and it's yeah. just a Tory who chases trains. <laughs>